We're a party with a message for the whole country. And that message for the whole country is quite simply this. There is a very, very, very clear choice before the people of this country on Thursday. And it's this. We've had nine years of austerity in Britain. We've had nine years of increasing gap between the richest and the poorest. We've had nine years in which 150 people have become billionaires in Britain. We've had nine years during which four million children are living in poverty. We've had nine years when our local councils, our health service and so many other services have been cut to the bone by the meanness of a central government more interested in creating the wealth for the wealthiest rather than a sustainable living for the poorest. And this Christmas, 130,000 children across Britain will wake up on Christmas morning not knowing they have a safe, secure place to call their home for the rest of this year, never mind next year. That is the reality of what austerity has done to people all across this country. And there are thousands. The greatest issue that faces every one of us, every one of us on this wonderful green here in Bristol, is actually the threat to our natural world and environment through global warming and climate change. I was at the Paris Climate Change Conference in 2015. It was, yes, a huge step forward, but not big enough and not determined enough. Under present, under present trends, Britain won't reach net zero until 2099. The rest of the world, goodness knows when. Next year, COP26 will be held in Britain. I want to be there as a Labour Prime Minister hosting COP26. And my lifetime's determination to defend our natural world and our environment and our manifesto which promises a green industrial revolution so the jobs of the future help the sustainability of our natural world and our planet. And all the industries and all the skills that are here in Bristol and all the determination of people all across the west of England and the far southwest to live in a sustainable world and protect the natural world will be a combination of investment in sustainable transport, of electric buses, retrofitting homes so they use less energy, development of green energy projects and the role that the public sector and public ownership can bring. But also things like broadband which help to develop economies in a rural area and also are themselves sustainable. So I finish with this because I've got many, many places to go. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for your support for Labour. Thank you for your determination to elect a Labour government. And thank you for the hope you give to so many. So on Thursday, vote for hope, vote for change, vote for a Labour government. Thank you very much. Good luck, good luck, Jerry.